Roman Reigns needs help. That is what the verdict is on the latest episode of SmackDown after him and Jimmy Uso were laid out in another savage attack by Solo Sokoa and the Bloodline. But what is going on, guys? It is Catch back with another video on the channel. If you're new around here, I make weekly wrestling content. So if you don't mind, please give it a like and a subscribe as I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So every little bit of help counts. And uh, yeah, let's get into why Roman Reigns needs help from Jey Uso. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, on the latest episode of SmackDown, Jimmy Uso opened the show to a thunderous ovation as he had not been seen in Reigns and actually acknowledged big Jimmy Uso as he so eloquently put it. And then they decided to talk about how they were faring in the bloodline as of this current point in time. Any recognition at this moment, but the one thing Jimmy Uso and Roman Reigns has is the fact that Jimmy Uso is remaining loyal to Roman Reigns, the only one that has remained loyal to Roman Reigns throughout this whole thing. Obviously, Paul Heyman's there as well but he's been written off tv for some time and as of yet has not made his return back to the main roster and jimmy Uso was saying i know one person that can help us and the crowd started chanting yeet and doing main event jay Uso's signature uh, thing with his hands where he puts them down as he does his entrance but roman turned back to jimmy and said no yeet more or less suggesting that he does not want help from jay Uso. and this then funnily enough worked its way into the main event of the night in which Jimmy Uso took on Solo Sokoa and this was effectively billed as older brother versus younger brother and Solo Sokoa did eventually win the match after a distraction from the bloodline in Jacob Fatu and the Tongans Tongaloa and Tama Tonga and as they were beating down Jimmy Uso Roman made the save but unfortunately it was four on two and the numbers game always wins in WWE and they were savagely attacked by the bloodline and that the show ended with uh, Jimmy Uso saying to Roman we need help we need help so I think the story is definitely going down the line of they're going to bring back old members of the bloodline of the original bloodline I would say in the likes of Jay Uso and Sami Zayn but I'll get into that bit a bit more in detail in the next bit Jay however is currently having the run of his career Jay quitting the WWE in storyline because Jimmy had costed him the undisputed title at SummerSlam 2023 against Roman Reigns in a tribal combat match now as a result of Jimmy's continued interference in Jay's matches which would be a running theme well into 2024 it eventually culminated in Jay winning the sibling rivalry at Wrestlemania 40 and then going on to assist Cody Rhodes finally beat Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania 40 ending his much anticipated and highly highly acclaimed title run at that point in time which had almost stretched to four years but Jay is now in a funny position where Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso do need his help but Jay's at the same time is thriving without the need of having his family members or the bloodline helping him in this corner and the same could be said for Sami Zayn as well I'll go delve into that a little bit more as well but just finishing off on Jey Uso the fact that he's thriving so well as a result of leaving the bloodline why would he need to rejoin the bloodline you see and and I think Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso have a lot of apologizing and a lot of convincing to see if Jey Uso can help him in this current rivalry they've got against the bloodline 2.0 currently led by Solo Sokoa so I think the Roman and Jimmy have a bit of work to do in uh, repairing bridges with Jay uh, but also in helping him convince him that what they're doing now is for the right reason and not the wrong reason anymore in the case of Sami Zayn, he was also once a part of the bloodline as the honorary Uso. His loyalty was tested numerous times, but eventually he did earn the bloodline's trust. However, he was kicked out of the group at Royal Rumble 2023 after he turned on Roman Reigns uh, as a result of them attacking and beating down on his actual best friend Kevin Owens, and he couldn't bear to witness that, so he turned on Reigns with a steel chair, and as a result, the bloodline kicked him out of the group. Uh, however, since him and Jay have been out of the bloodline, their relationship has has actually improved tenfold with both of them going on to obviously get a lot of success as a result uh, Sammy also has had a, a, a tag team run alongside Kevin Owens and also at WrestleMania 40 finally dethroned Gunther and became Intercontinental Champion in front of his family and ending Gunther's 666 day historic reign as IC Champion now when it comes to Roman and Jimmy potentially convincing Sammy to come back and help him in their cause against the Bloodline 2.0 this may prove very difficult and very challenging given the circumstances around Sammy's kick out of the Bloodline group in 2023 so i mean he will take a lot of convincing and there'll need to be a lot of apologizing on both reigns and jimmy's behalf as well but i feel like maybe jay or even paul Heyman could play 
peacemaker in the role and sort of be moderator and help them come back together as sort of like a healing process and they can all have like this massive baby face reunion as a result so in the lead up to survivor series which is about six weeks away i think we'll be seeing a lot of this play out on tv roman reigns is advertised for every smackdown from this point forward so that's fantastic seeing full-time roman back as well but also his uh, commitment to this storyline being carried out on tv is a credit to triple h and the writing team but we haven't obviously actually seen this storyline as of yet so it'd be quite interesting to see what so it will be interesting to see if cody rhodes plays any further part in this bloodline story he obviously helped reigns beat sakoa and jacob far too at bad blood I personally don't know if there's much more Cody can do in the Bloodline story. He's now got an additional issue with Kevin Owens who attacked him in his, at his tour bus after Bad Blood had happened and now Randy Orton's been involved in that as well. So I don't think Cody Rhodes will be involved in the storyline anymore moving forward. He may pop in periodically, but I think the whole point of the story going forward is to convince Jay and Sammy to come back and help Roman and Jimmy. At least that's my theory moving forward or my thoughts moving forward. The Rock uh, is another interesting part of the story, obviously, but he actually came out with an Instagram post uh, earlier today saying he uh, will be at WrestleMania 41, but that's going to be next year. So there probably won't be an appearance by The Rock at Survivor Series. I mean, there may be, but given his heavy schedule, it's very unlikely at this current point in time. But uh, yeah, I definitely think uh, Roman and Jimmy have a lot of work to do in getting that help that they so desperately need. But that has been the end of this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and a subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. And also, let me know what you think of the story direction between Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso in trying to convince Jay and Sammy to come back to the bloodline. But anyway, guys, I will leave you to it. Have a good one. See ya.